A European Union and Eurozone member country, Cyprus is ideal to live and invest in. Cyprus. Invest with confidence. Welcome to the Financial Mirror TV Cyprus Report, sponsored by the Cyprus Investment Promotion Agency. Revenues at the state-owned telecoms giant Sita rose 7% last year to 484 million euros, half of which from mobile telephony alone, while net profits climbed 27% to 103 million. Outgoing chairman Stavros Kremos said that in 2008, the organization increased revenue, reduced charges, widened the product range and continued with strategic investments, while DSL rates are gradually being lowered. Significant developments included undersea communication cables to Egypt and Syria and expansion in Greece. However, total losses from overseas operations amounted to 10 million euros, nearly half of which were for the operations in Hungary, and the rest from investments in the UK and Greece. SIDA paid a dividend of 77 million euros to its sole shareholder, the Cyprus government, in 2008, bringing the total in the last six years to 450 million. The cooperative credit societies recouped some of the market share they lost to the commercial banks, lifting their combined share of deposits to 21%. Commercial banks have accused the co-ops of paying top deposit rates, keeping interest rates high. The co-ops say they are paying the same as the banks, but have been losing market share due to the aggressive rates from the competition. Greek-owned Piraeus Bank and EFG Eurobank, as well as the local Hellenic Bank, gained market share, while Bank of Cyprus and Marfin Popular dropped their share. On the lending side, mainly Eastern European banks, as well as Piraeus and EFG, gained ground. The unemployment rate continued to rise in June, albeit at a slower rate since unemployment started to rise rapidly in November. The good news is that the rate of increase was slower in June than the 64% recorded in May. The main rise was in construction, where the jobless number was higher than in June last year. Other sectors that have also been hit hard include wholesale and retail trade, real estate and business, hotels and restaurants, and manufacturing. According to the statistical service, the number of registered unemployed reached 17,903 persons in June, a rise of only 264 over the previous month. Labour Minister Sodirula Haralambos has called for targeted action to ease the strain on the labour market. She told an informal meeting of EU ministers in Sweden that the biggest challenge is implementing policies for the short and long term that will focus on high unemployment goals, job quality and integration. Haralambos said that the access of women to the labour market ranks high in Cyprus, but that more is needed to reconcile family life with work. New guidelines should support continuous education and lifelong learning for the aging population, environmental changes and technological innovation. The Ministry of Finance forecasts that the fiscal deficit for the first five months was 1.8% of GDP, compared to a surplus of 0.3% in the same period in 2008, exceeding its own initial estimates. The Finance Ministry recently insisted that the GDP deficit would remain below 3%, in sharp contrast with an IMF forecast, expecting the deficit to hit 3.9% of GDP for 2009. Affecting these figures is the continued sharp decline in company registrations, which in January-May was a quarter of the 24,000 for the whole of 2008. Applications for company names also fell sharply to 15,000 from 48,500, while certified documents also fell by two-thirds to 114,000. Research and development seems to be inching up in Cyprus, but at a snail's pace, with government spending on the rise, but it's still below the EU target of 3% of GDP by 2010. Total R&D expenditure in 2007 was 70 million euros, or 0.45% of GDP, slightly higher than in 2006 and 2005. Despite the nominal growth of 14% in expenditure, the share of Cyprus GDP devoted to R&D remains low compared to other countries. The EU average is 1.83% and ranges from 0.46% in the Slovak Republic to 3.64% in Sweden. 
Higher education accounted for half of total R&D expenditure, followed by the government, business enterprises and non-profit institutions. Areas of focus include computer and related activities, manufacturing of chemicals and chemical products, natural sciences, engineering and technology, agriculture and medical. Passenger traffic at Cyprus 2 airports is down 6.3% with officials saying that the arrival of new airlines such as the UAE's Etihad should help business to pick up. Alfred van der Meer, CEO of operator Hermes Airport, said that the global recession is already being felt in Cyprus, as traffic at Larnaca Airport, where the new terminal will open in November, was down 4.7%, while the drop was greater at Bafos Airport at 11%. He said that under these circumstances, Cyprus can do only one thing, open its doors and welcome new business, such as the co-share agreement signed between Etihad and Cyprus Airways. The Gulf carrier operates three weekly flights from Abu Dhabi and hopes to increase this frequency to daily flights. The two main cruise operators in Cyprus, Lewis and Salamis, are going ahead with plans to renew and expand their fleet. The Norwegian Star, bought from Star Cruises a year ago for 103 million euros, will be refitted and start as the Lewis Majesty on December the 4th, operating out of Genoa and Marseille to the Mediterranean and Canary Islands. The Majesty is the 12th ship in the Lewis fleet and has 730 cabins with a capacity of 1,790 passengers. Salamis Tours bought the Van Gogh for $7.5 million, financed from own cash reserves. Replacing the Salamis Glory, the Van Gogh was completely refurbished in 1999 and can take up to 800 passengers. BOC Compass, the index-linked euro and dollar deposit issued by Bank of Cyprus that started in May 2008, has locked it a 27% return in its first year. This is a six-year structured deposit offering clients the opportunity to lock up to 50% of their money in a one-year preferential fixed deposit, earning 7% on Euro and British Pound products and 4% on US dollars. BOC Compass is linked to a portfolio of five indices, each with a 20% weight. These are the Merrill Lynch Carbon Leaders, the SP Global Water Index, the Dow Jones Europe Stocks Food and Beverage, the DJ Europe Stocks Banks and DJ Europe Stocks Healthcare. New investors cannot buy into BOC Compass, but Bank of Cyprus Private Banking has promised that new products are in the pipeline. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching the Cyprus Report. A European Union and Eurozone member country, Cyprus is ideal to live and invest in. Cyprus has a transparent and robust economy, well-educated professionals, attractive taxation and growth potential in several sectors. Cyprus. Invest with confidence.